Hey, what's going on, everybody? I uh, just wanted to do a short little video this morning. Um, earlier this week, I did a network and security assessment for a prospect and um, pulled in some in interesting information. And um, I see it most often than not um, when we run these types of scans. Uh, the report um, is login history by computer. Uh, this shows the um, uh, successful and uh, unsuccessful login attempts to uh, specific user accounts on this network. Uh, so what I found interesting was this page here, um, which shows uh, in the past 24 hours the server had had uh, all of these unsuccessful login attempts to these user accounts. It was a total of... Um, 6,570 of them. Uh, so if we go page by page, you can actually see the brunt of them were on the administrator account. Um, again, what this is, is it's it's an attacker. It's someone out there on the internet because uh, the server is currently open up to the world. Um, so somebody's out there using an application that's trying to brute force uh, gain access to the server. Um, and they're using the most common accounts, administrator, admin, admin123, uh, misspellings of the word administrator, they'll use guest, they'll use user, they'll use test, um, uh, and they have a, just a program that just goes through and it just keeps trying to authenticate uh, to this open server um, using usernames and passwords. So this list you can see it's also using just generic names as well. Um, with unsuccessful attempts uh, to compromise the server. Um, the reason it's like this, so here's another page with the most common, again, tests, test one, test user, user. Um, the reason this is occurring is the um, IT management company or the IT person that's currently in there now um, has configured their router um, firewall to allow uh, traffic on port 3389 which is remote desktop connection um, to their server uh, which is not um, not a good idea so uh, we did um, work with the prospect uh, let them know that this was occurring um, assisted in um, resolving the issue by by disabling uh, remote access to the server um, until they identify what um, what purpose was it opened up for, uh, but we see this more often than not. Uh, it just you know, it's convenience for the IT guy to be able to connect in and take a look at things. You know, I'm guilty as charged. I used to do uh, similar um, things to make my life a little bit easier to look at things, but you know, over the years you realize this is not. Um, this is not uh, a best practice, so um, we use uh, either VPN connections to secure our traffic um, and our connections to our clients' environments, or we use our own uh, management application, which um, uh, does not compromise the server or their network. So, but anyway, I just thought this was um, something interesting and thought I would share um, if you're a business and you've got a network and you've got a server with, you know, multiple workstations and uh, curious about the health state uh, of the environment, if you're working with somebody else um, and interested in seeing what yours looks like, uh, feel free to contact us. Um, I'd be more than happy to uh, work with you and connect in and do, you know, a network and security assessment on your environment and uh, let you know what we find out. Um, but that's about it. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day, you guys.